hot out here in the desert. And it's cold down here in the Arctic. What gives? Well, for that to happen, heat has to be flowing all the time. And there are three different ways that heat can flow, or transfer, as we scientists say. There's heat conduction, convection, and radiation. So heat conduction is very simply the flow of heat energy from a warm area to a colder area. Heat will always flow from warm to cold. For example, if I take this hot waffle iron and put my hand in it, well the heat energy is flowing from the hot waffle iron into my cold hand. It'll never ever flow from my cold hand into the hot waffle iron. When I'm in the kitchen making pancakes, well it's just heat conduction that moves heat from the warm griddle to the cold pancake. Pancakes cook by heat conduction. Right now there's a conduction going on. I see heat is flowing from my warm body into the cold snow. Heat, heat energy will never ever flow from cold snow into a, a warm body. It doesn't happen. It'd be nice if it happened, but it doesn't. Whew, it's cold. 